So you may have heard Webflow recently, on the 1st of October 2025, released five new updates. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and explain each one. Let's go ahead and jump in to the first change. So starting with the first change, Webflow has now moved their preview button from the left-hand side of the UI to now the right-hand side of the UI next to the publish button. Originally, the preview button was actually always on the right-hand side near the publish button, which is just good user experience. Then for some reason, they moved that preview button to the left-hand side, which took a while to get used to, but now they moved it back to the right hand side. It kind of reminds me of those MacBook Pros. They used to have those MagSafe power chargers and whenever you trip into it, it won't actually drag the MacBook with you. But then they moved into a USB-C MacBook Are charger. But now they moved back into the MagSafe charger. Typical tech company. Let's move on to change number two. So change number two, Webflow has claimed to have created a simplified UI for these breakpoints right here, where you can just click into it. Personally, I don't see the difference at all, but that's what they claim. Let's move on to change number three. So change number three is just re-adding the undo and the redo buttons on the actual UI, which personally I've never ever used and I didn't even realize that they removed it or added it back in. Let's move on to change number four, my personal dislike. So change number four, you might have noticed, is the canvas bar at the very top is now at the very top. So previously it was at the very bottom. Let's go ahead and put a side by side, but now it's at the top. Kind of annoying because it takes a long time to get used to because my mind is already used to this UI being at the very bottom. You also notice if I click into a certain element, this specific element UI is now simplified. It used to have like some box design or some slightly different UI design. Again, you can see the side by side, but now it's like much more clean with just the text. Nevertheless, I realize you can actually pin this UI back to the bottom if you're not used to it. All you need to do is just hit this button right here, Canvas setting, and you can head over to toolbar at the very bottom, move it from top to bottom. That looks so much better in my opinion. Maybe I'm just used to it. Let's go on to the last, the most powerful change of them all. The last change is the UI updates to the pages right here, so P for page. This is also found, you know, obviously at the top of the screen right here in home. And you'll notice firstly that there are different UIs, so it's much more cleaner with this accordion dropdown. But in the collection pages, you'll also notice there's another dropdown for unpublished collections. I personally think this is amazing because in the past, all your collections were just right there. And sometimes you might want to go into your collection page and toggle the published settings off, almost like sending the page to a draft mode. That way it doesn't get indexed by Google. And now all of these are sitting neatly in this unpublished collection dropdown toggle. So I personally love this. Additionally to this, I realized that the search bar right here, you can actually search for CMS pages. For example, I have one called tutorials. So you can see it's searching the pages that are static, and also the collection pages. On top of this, I can actually go ahead and hit this button right here, search CMS collections. And I can go ahead and just search a specific collection. Let's say my YouTube tutorials right here. I can go ahead and just type in a CMS item in this search bar. So I can just type in nav, for example, and it's showing me these navigation pages right here. In a way, this was similar to heading over to that CMS page, hitting that drop down at the top, and then searching that specific page within that specific collection. So those are the five changes. What do you guys think? I personally don't like how the toolbar was moved from the top to the bottom. Leave a comment below. Please give this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.